Welcome back to another Real Talk Reaction. This is right here for Doctor Who, Season 3, Episode number 5, Part 2. Don't forget to like and subscribe, hit the notification bell. Tell a friend to keep telling all their friends. We over here doing what we just doing. And they should come over and check us out. Thank you. Uh, a couple comments from the last episode, starting with executive producer Jeremy, who says, I do like this episode. I like the 20s. I like them dealing with historical things like Hooverville. I like the character Solomon, uh, Tallulah, Laszlo, and seeing Andrew Garfield in the show. I also thought it was interesting to see the Daleks do something so different, since the whole thing with the Daleks is keeping themselves pure, plus the fact that they always share the same voice and opinion of killing everything. That's not them. So, seeing them argue amongst each other and have different opinions, as well as the fact that they're now changing themselves and becoming human Daleks, is interesting. But, despite liking all those things, the problem I have with the episode is it seems really long, just really slow for some reason. Anyway, great reaction. I look forward to the next one. Yeah, I can give you that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, CJ comes through to say, like Jeremy, I really like the historical context of this episode, the 20s, Hooverville, and the building of the Empire State Building. I was also squealing with, squealing with glee at your reaction to Andrew Garfield in this. I just knew you'd spot him instantly. But, historical references and Garfield aside, this two-parter for me barely ranks above the farting Slitheen two-parter. That was a rough two-parter. Yeah. Uh, really not a fan. That being said, the next episode is definitely paced better than the first. Yes, we saw you struggling to stay awake on this one, and I was right there with you. <laughs> you guys never call them out on that. That's fun. Yeah, you call me out because they know it's real. I know, that's but I'm just saying they real. never put it out, yeah. so that's fun. I try, uh, man. I really try. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Uh, then last comment from Patrick, who says, I agree with y'all. It is just an okay episode, but it does have some highlights. Particularly, I like Tallulah. I liked her, too. I thought she was great. Uh, the Daleks have never been my favorite villain. Having said that, they are destructive and terrible in their motive, and that always sucks. Let's see what happens next. Yeah, let's see. Let's jump into the next episode right now. Always on this case, you look. November 1st, 1930. You're going to come to Hooverville when there's nowhere else to go. Men going missing, is this true? Yeah! Yeah, stop. The Empire State Building must be completed in time. Don't be trying to kill us. What are you with me? Conquered the world, but instead you're skulking away, hidden in the dark, experimenting. All of which results in you. I am Dalek in human form. What does it feel like? You can talk to me, Dalek Sec. He's Dalek Sec, isn't that your name? You've got a name and a mind of your own. Tell me what you're thinking right now. I feel like. Gravity. Good, that's good. I feel uh, everything we wanted for mankind, which is ambition, hatred, aggression, and war. Such a genius for war. No, that's not what humanity means. I think it does. I heart this species so very Dalek. All right, so what have you achieved then with this final experiment, eh? Nothing! Because I can show you what you're missing, what is it? Simple little radio. What is the purpose of that device? Well, exactly, it plays music. What's the point of that? Oh, with music, you can dance to it, sing with it, fall in love to it. Unless you're a Dalek, of course. And it's all just noise. Pain of the flesh that no Dalek has felt for thousands. 
thousands of years. The doctor has I mean, escaped. it they seems like he's him. just really vulnerable. This doesn't seem like... As soon as there's a heart, he does. Yeah. All we gotta do is play loud music and we're done. No, oh, that's it. I totally see Rick after him. They got Rick after him. Who? Oh, Rick and Morgan. Rick after who? After this doctor right here. Oh. You can totally see Rick. This doctor. Boy. You're definitely different. Rick. I'll see you up here flying. I just discovered this past <laughs> day. Now we insane. That God's universe is a thousand times the size I thought it was. And that scares me. Oh, yeah. Terrifies me. Right down to the bone. But surely it's got to give me hope. Hope that maybe together we can make a better tomorrow. So I, I beg you now. Yeah, he's about to get shot. If you have any compassion in your hearts, Daleks have no hearts. Yeah. And stop this fight. Well, what do you say? Exterminate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you got feelings now because you have you. That makes sense, right? They just shot him on the spot. So what about us? What do we do now? Doctor gave me this. He must have had a reason. And what's that for? Get you into places, buildings and things. But where? He must want me to go somewhere, but what am I supposed to do? Those people were defenseless! You only wanted me, but no, that wasn't enough for you. You had to start killing. Do what they've done to you, but they won't do it to anyone else. Do you trust them? I know that one man can change the course of history. Right idea in the right place at the right time is all it takes. The light feeds are ready. Let it's all systems go. It's all the flame. I am done. You can't do this! Big Sage, restrain Daleks! Just have me on the doctor! Oh, dear, that's how it is. Release me! I created you! I am your master! Sound of fire approaching! Prepare to intercept! Who's the roof? Just big. Stop him! Stop him! We've only got minutes before the gamma radiation reaches the earth. We need to get to the top of the building. That's not what's wrong. Not a breath. It's nothing. Are you scared? That's all the matters. Must be this new pig, huh? already said they only last a couple weeks. You have betrayed me. You told us to imagine. And we imagined your irrelevance. I was your leader. I have Dalek's and Obey me! 
for a whole new civilization. Right. Right, Alex. Just understand this. If you choose death and destruction, then death and destruction will choose you. Incorrect. We always survive. It's only now for we you. will destroy our greatest enemy, the Doctor. But he can help you. The Doctor must die. No. I beg you, don't exterminate! Why is it? Your own leader. The only creature who might have led you out of the darkness and you destroyed him. Do you see what I did? Huh? You see what a Dalek really is? Warning! Dalek humans show increased levels of serotonin. If I'm gonna die, let's give the new boys a shot. What do you think, mate? The Dalek humans, their first blood. Go on. Baptize them. Dalek humans, take aim. What are you waiting for? 
to the command. Exterminate! <laughs> Exterminate! Obey! Dalek humans will obey! Not very. What have you done? You will obey! Exterminate! Why? Daleks do not question orders! But why? You will stop this! <laughs> Why? You must not question! But you are not our master. And we... Our master. We are not Daleks. No, you're not. We are. And you never will be. Pretending to be. Oh, you can just Sorry. empty out our brains? I got more of the lightning strike. Time Lord DNA got all mixed up. Just that little bit of freedom. Oh, okay. Just that little bit of freedom. Okay. That they must die! species. Genocide. Only two of the dogs have been destroyed. One of the dark masters must still be alive. Oh, yes. In the whole universe. Just one. To be continued. Now what? You will be exterminated! Yeah, 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 yeah. Just think about it, Dalek. What was your name? Dalek Khan! Dalek Khan. Your entire species has been wiped out. And now the cult of Skara has been eradicated. It's really cool. Leaving only you. Right now, you're that. facing the only man in the universe the who might show side. you some compassion. My first one. Actually, my son made that circle. Yeah. Because I've just seen one. Yeah, it's one of our <laughs> I won't cause another. Khan. Let me help you. What do you say? Emergency temporal shift! I reckon I shamed one or two of them. What did they say? Yeah, they said yes. They'll give you a home, last home. I mean, uh, don't imagine people ain't going to stare. I can't promise you'll be at peace. But in the end, that is what we were built for. Back in this laboratory Which one? You, you, want, you want to breathe or you want to damn look at this? Which you. one? Do? Make a decision. Can I have both? I can't take you. I ain't got time for that. I'm just a doctor. Goddamn, Scott. Do you reckon it's gonna work? I used to. I don't know. Anywhere else in the universe I might worry about, but New York's what this city's good at. Give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses, and maybe the old pixel I've done at Mutant Hunger 2. Get your big pig face the with the ass all down here. That's going to be accurate. Just breathe that face. There's someone for everyone. Big hog nose, nose, mm -hmm. smell that. Look at that tree. That tree. It's not, it's not. Meant to say, I'm sorry. What's up? Just because that dialect got away, I know what that means to you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, let's see you again. Oh, yes. Yeah, One day. Alright, that was episode five of Doctor Who. And yeah, you're right.
that was a lot better pacing than the first episode, that's for sure. I didn't find myself dozing off as much as I did in that first one. But, you know, this one had, had a couple spots in there that, just, you know, they hit me out there. But this was a, 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 pretty, a pretty decent episode right here, though. Yeah, I thought we was finally about to be done with the Ds, with the dialects. But and it's always that one that's got to get away, and he did. So he'll probably be back season four, episode number two. And it's just going to go down like that. But, hey, it's only one now. And we already know they got the ability to infect humans and make more. So he probably just, you know, try to go on with that and then make that a thing. But I thought this episode was, was well paced. Uh, got straight to the point. They say the day again. Yeah, I mean, I wish they could have fixed the old boy's face. Now he's just as a pig. So that relationship is not going to last as long as we, we think, especially in the 20s. You know how to get he's down. He's a pig. Yeah. <laughs> well, that a boar with the tusk. Yeah. Ain't that a boring? Well, look. A boring? I mean, <laughs> this episode, man. I mean, look. With this chapter is done right here. Now let's move on to another bad guy or another adventure. And I can't wait to see how that shake out. Yeah, uh, the pacing was 1,000% better. I think also just the, the music score, whenever it is, the Daleks, as far as like the dramatic of the music score. It's way too dramatic. It's, but it does move the, <laughs> yeah. the episode along. You're just like, okay, this is, this is moving. <laughs> okay. There's drama. <laughs> Um, so I appreciate that. I think my highlight moments were one when the Daleks are talking to each other and they try to do that like human thing. We're like, bro, let's talk. Hold on. I was like, oh, they try to do that. <laughs> so I thought that was funny. Um, I also liked uh, Martha specifically and what she um, talked to Tallulah about about. How the doc, whenever she, she feels like when the doctor looks at her, she sees somebody else, which I thought is great. I think they're doing a really good job of showing the doctor is still struggling with the loss of, um, oh girl, Rose. Rose, thank you. Um, because like it, it's not something he's easily gotten over, it's something that this new companion and him have to work through, and I appreciate the fact that they have that. Uh, that dynamic as far as it's not just Rose is gone and that's it. So like I appreciate the show for doing that and it really shows again how much the Doctor really cared about Rose specifically and how this is kind of an awkward transition for him um, to introduce a new companion and you know not have those guilty feelings about Rose being gone. I just I like the complexity of that dynamic and I appreciate every time it's came up so far this season. And I think we're almost getting past that. That's why they brought it up again. I don't think he sees me. He and then Martha does such a great job yeah. with her inflections on her face when, even this last moment, when he was like, hmm, and she was like, uh, or when she was like, there's somebody for everyone, and he was like, hmm, and she was like, I know who you're thinking about. Oh. Like, and she does such a good job with her face. Yeah. I just appreciate it. She's a, she's a really good actress, so she just elevates all of these moments, and I can't wait to see how that progresses. Um, and I thought it was interesting. I hated the way the human slash whatever Dalek looked like. He's it was disgusting to me. So it was really hard to like watch him and not be disgusted. But I did like the evolution of his character as far as what the human DNA allowed him to see and change his perspective. Although he couldn't break through the barrier of what the Daleks are because obviously they don't have any of those uh, emotions. So I did appreciate the complexity of like how he has evolved and ultimately could see the bigger picture and how they would all benefit from evolving as well. But because the Daleks makeup, so to speak, they're just incapable of seeing that or even opening themselves up to anything outside of what they already are. So I did appreciate that uh, faster paced episode, but I'm excited that this two parter is done now um, and looking forward to see where we go in the next episode. Yep. All right, well, look, thank you guys again for watching another Real Talk Reaction for Doctor Who Season 3, Episode 5. And until next time, peace.